Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino, and I want to talk to you about natural remedies to manage PMS. You know that uh, premenstrual syndrome or PMS affects a lot of women. About 7 to 14 days before uh, menstrual flow starts, a cluster of symptoms can sort of seem to come out of nowhere, actually. And sometimes women will also have menstrual cramps, or what's called dysmenorrhea, very painful uh, menstruation with a lot of cramping from the uterine area. And the prevalence, there's, it's quite a significant prevalence. About one-third of women uh, who are premenopausal have some PMS symptoms. And it's especially prevalent, or they see, the symptoms seem to be most severe when women are between the ages of 25 and 40. And about 10% of women have very severe, almost debilitating symptoms of PMS. And so um, the symptoms manifest in a, in a number of different ways, of course. It can be emotional symptoms where you feel depressed or there's anxiety, irritability, mood swings, um, nervousness. There can be intestinal symptoms, bloating, food cravings, sugar, chocolate, changes in bowel habits, constipation, diarrhea. Reproductive symptoms are, are common with reproductive tissue, breast swelling, breast tenderness, uterine cramps, changes in libido. And other physical manifestations, you know, headaches can, sh can show up at this time of the month. Uh, you know, a, a nagging backache, which can you know, linger for days. And also swelling of the extremities, fingers, ankles, not uncommon. So that these, any combination of these symptoms can show up, as you know, and, and be, make life a little bit uh, less than enjoyable. So what is, what's causing this is the question. The most consistent finding in PMS is that there's a high estrogen to low progesterone ratio. That imbalance of estrogen and progesterone seems to account for a lot of the symptoms. How does that happen? Well, just from certain dietary behaviors that are faulty, you can raise estrogen levels too high, or the liver is not detoxifying the old estrogens in a timely fashion, and so estrogen builds up. Or there can be sort of ovarian failure where the ovaries are not producing enough uh, progesterone, so it creates uh, this uh, significant imbalance between the two hormones. But the impact, it's the impact of estrogen and progesterone that, that's most striking and it has an effect on a number of tissues. That imbalance then affects the brain and, and endorphin levels drop down, which can you know, lead to mood swings and depression and anxiety. A lot of the emotional things can come from a drop in endorphin levels in the brain, secondary to the estrogen progesterone imbalance. Also, that imbalance can lead to an increased secretion of prolactin, which can cause breast pain and breast tenderness and even aggravate fibrocystic breast disease. And the high estrogen, estrogen level often increases the release of aldosterone, which, co which causes the body to hold water and sodium in the body, so you get the bloating and the swelling and some of the other uh, very uncomfortable symptoms. So the medical treatments that are available, and I, I don't like any of them, is they'll give women you know, the birth control pill to try to override all of her own natural hormone secretions or other hormones that will block the ovulatory cycle. Or they'll use antidepressants if there's emotional symptoms, anti-anxiety drugs, diuretic drugs to wash out the water and the salt, painkillers to, to take care of the, the breast tenderness or muscle relaxants to uh, help get rid of some of the uterine cramps. I'm not saying you can't use these things, but the reality is that in most cases, using the right nutrition, lifestyle, and supplementation approach, you can actually get everything back into balance naturally and sort of curtail many of the symptoms. So what are the natural remedies that have been proven to work in human clinical studies so that you don't go off you know, on a wild goose chase trying things that are not going to get you results? The things that have been proven to work with humans is a low-fat, high-fiber diet, the right dosage and standardized grade of black cohosh soy isoflavones, and I like to include gamma arosinol as well, which comes from rice bran oil, dosages of vitamin B6 with magnesium, as well as uh, vitamin E supplementation and also the right dosage of calcium. And then also not smoking, watching your caffeine and alcohol intake, you know, a couple of weeks before menstruation. And certain stress management things have also been shown to be helpful. When you put all of that together, you have a comprehensive strategy. So it sounds like a lot, but it's really not that difficult. What I've done is I've put all of that together into an ebook called The Natural Management of PMS, which you can download right here at this site, and I recommend that you do that. It shows you the right dosage and standardized grade of all the nutrients to use, exactly how to apply this so you can get the best possible result. 
Most medical doctors haven't studied uh, much nutrition or natural medicine to even see these studies, and so they often are not going to mention that during a, a medical consultation. But it's important that you know that this evidence is available because using natural interventions are safe and non-toxic, and I like them over having to use any of the, the, the drugs or synthetic drugs that are often used because they all have some side effects. So I would recommend if you have any PMS symptoms at all and you're looking for a natural route to go, the best evidence is right in that ebook called The Natural Management of PMS and you should download it right now. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see other research review papers and videos that I've created, footage from my live professional seminars as well as other resources and downloads that I've created. They're there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. Not just to you know, be alive but to be functional and vibrant as the years go by. Uh, all my research papers and uh, teaching materials have all the scientific references in them so you know you're getting only evidence-based information on any topic that you're looking for. So you really should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.